everybody, welcome back to The Stuff of Legend. My name is D'Lo, I've got another video for you guys and it's gonna be a fun one because we are going to be fan casting one of my top, probably four or five favorites of all time from X-Men or Marvel in general I think is probably arguable. But let's get into this. We're gonna be fan casting Remy LeBeau, the Raging Cajun from Louisiana himself, Gambit. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I know you guys love this character as much as I do. I'm really excited for this fan casting because this is one of the most interesting characters of all of the X-Men. He has a very um, different background where he's not really a villain, but he's an incredibly selfish person. He's incredible. He's a criminal for sure. He's a thief. Uh, part of the Thieves Guild, no, no doubt. But he is certainly someone that has a redemption arc and becomes a valued member, a contributing member of society as part of the X-Men. And that's something that's really fun because he never loses that selfish or playful spirit. He's out just trying to have fun, trying to protect himself, but he finds a family with the X-Men that he can't find anywhere else. And especially in his pursuit of Rogue. And that's part of the fun of all this. So I wanted to get into this. You guys stick around towards the end because I'm going to have uh, fan casting images that I did myself. They're not the best in the entire world, obviously, but they are fun and I think you guys will appreciate them. It'll maybe help solidify in your minds some of the casting choices that I had for uh, Gambit as well. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So as you can see here, Gambit was played by Channing Tatum, which has not happened yet, but it will happen and I'll get to that in just a second. Taylor Kitsch from X-Men Origins Wolverine, Chris Potter, um, Phil Lamar, Alessandro Giuliani um, from X-Men Evolution. There's a lot of people who have voiced the role of Gambit. Only one on-screen iteration of Gambit so far, but it's going to be a lot of fun because Marvel, having just bought uh, Fox recently, I wanted to show you guys my first pick and let's go ahead and uh, just jump straight into that because you guys are gonna have as much fun with this one as I will and it might even be a little bit informative for you guys especially with some of the business end stuff that I track maybe you guys do as well I'd like to share that with you too I'll try to be fast so first up is Channing Tatum and you guys will see wait didn't it just say he's playing Gambit yes but he hasn't played him yet so he's third Channing Tatum, six foot one, 39 years old. He's been on contract since X-Men Origins Wolverine came out. Channing Tatum became on contract to play Gambit around that time. They've been delaying the project and delaying the project and it's been uh, one writer is in, writers out, writers in, writers out, directors in, directors out. It's just constantly been flipping and rotating. It's had a really rough run of a, as a production, not being able to get off the ground, but I wanted to show you guys after the Disney Fox deal. So it says here on IMDb, you can find right here. Look, I'm up here on IMDb, a bunch of promos for ugly dolls and whatever, but Gambit 2020, it says this stars Channing Tatum and rumored Lizzie Kaplan. Now, this is the interesting part under the production notes. It says updated 28th of March, 2019. It says in limbo after Fox merger with Disney, but the update came eight days after the merger went through. So the merger went through its final, everything was done, I believe it was the 20th, and eight days later they updated the status to saying it was in production. So the status uh, was unknown, but it still exists. And some of the other properties that were being talked about were just thrown off the table, but not Gambit. Gambit is still in limbo, it's still in talks. They still want to make it, they want to see how they can make it work. And I think Marvel's just gotta figure out after the next five years after Avengers Endgame, they have a plan already. And then after that plan is done, they're gonna be able to jump into making X-Men and Fantastic Four unless they can find a way to cram it in there within those five years. I don't know if that's possible for them, for their schedules and, and making it work realistically within the universe. I know of a couple ways that I would probably do it. Once they finally get around that, we'll start seeing that. But nevertheless, Channing Tatum is attached, you can see here in the flickering line, Channing Tatum where my finger is, boom, right there. And again, the updated status is right here. Uh, so you guys can say, technically, it's still a project. It's still something that they want to make and they have not canned just yet. So that's exciting. Um, it's a bit of a tease, but I think that they're gonna try to find a way to uphold Channing Tatum's contract because he's a talented actor. He's a talented actor from Louisiana. He grew up there for a time and uh, he knows the culture, he knows the whole like Mardi Gras type scene and um, he's he's been part of that and he's also 
he looks really good in the role. I think he would be a fantastic choice for the role. I think that Fox had a really great idea choosing him to play the character. And nevertheless, there's tons and tons of fan art, side-by-side -side image comparisons. I mean, you just keep going. You can Google Channing Tatum Gambit, and you'll just see oodles and oodles and oodles and oodles of fan art all over the internet. It's insane how much fan art there is for this guy. Um, so much. So I won't waste too much time, but you guys can see where I'm coming from here. He technically is Gambit at this time. The movie hasn't been made yet. It's supposedly coming out in 2020. That's the supposed plan, but I don't think it's technically in production yet. It's in this lim limbo status. So I'm not sure what that's about, but hopefully he does get to play him. Next on the list, Ian Summerholder. This guy is 40 years old, a little bit older, but he still looks very youthful. Five foot 10, uh, not the tallest guy in the world, but he does look like a tall guy. And I think that's important if you have a big on-screen presence, it's gonna help to make your character feel a little bit more um, physically imposing or um, strong. You know, he's got a very strong build, strong jaw. I think that's gonna be very helpful. You, know, you guys know him from the Vampire Diaries, from Lost, from Smallville. Um, he was in a lot of different things. But take, take a look at this. Um, there's also a lot of side-by-side -side fan ca casting comparisons. He has been known to rock long hair, and I think that's something that helps when people look at him. They just say, oh yeah, I totally could see that. He doesn't look very far off from Taylor Kitsch, which is very helpful, who played Gambit before. Although the costume sucked, I thought that he was a good call. He was a good cast for the role, but they just they botched the costume, and it really it didn't leave a great impression with a lot of fans. Because people are looking for that classic look, you know what I mean? Um, and so, uh, anyway, lots of good fan art here. Here's one of like the glowing card and then his eyes are kind of pinkish. That's pretty cool. Um, but nevertheless, good actor. I think he would be really good in the role. Let's keep moving. Next up, we have Gaspard Ulliel. And he is a French actor or American French actor, I believe. No, he's just a French actor. French actor, 34 years old, 5 foot 11, uh, Hannibal Rising, St. Lawrence, a very long engagement. Um, and a few other things I totally have not seen, but based on looks and based on the fact that he's French now, Louisiana has French roots. And so it's like, it's like the, uh, American South version of France, uh, and their, their love for a fling, you know, very, uh, very French in the way that they talk, but it's very fun because I think this guy would translate really nicely into Gambit. He's got that long hair, he's got that look. You know, you can see people doing like edits and stuff of Gaspar de Lille. And uh, it's a lot of fun putting the cards in his hand, making it light up. I think he's got a very good, clean, pretty boy look um, while still kind of having a little bit of some like rugged features. I think that it's his facial hair, having that like low chin kind of beard going on that really helps bring out um, a little bit more of a rugged touch to this guy's, uh, I guess, pretty boy flair. And that's something that Gambit has. Gambit is, he's hes a man's man, but he's a lady's man. That's the thing. He's, he's both. He's very tough, but he's also always about the ladies. And that's something that I think would be very cool for this guy in particular. He's got that ladies man swag. And so uh, that's something I think would be really fun to have uh, as a strength for whoever's gonna play Gambit. So anyway, I won't bore you guys with too many details on this, but you guys can see where I'm coming from. Look at that. And the hair too, that's what I'm talking about right here. But nevertheless, let's keep going. Next up, we've got Jared Padalecki from Supernatural. He is 36 years old and he is six foot four, which is pretty tall. That's a pretty tall dude right there. Um, and uh, yeah, he's also Gilmore Girls and Friday the 13th. But let's, uh, let's take a look. I think a lot of people have seen what I have seen as well. Um, his name comes up in the search if you type Jared Padalecki Gambit. Of course, it's gonna come up because you're typing his name. But there's some people that have been wanting him to play Gambit. That's Ian Summerholder. But um, yeah, not, not, a, not a ton of fan, of fan casting here. But if you look at him, at his hair, you look at the way that he uh, he's known to play his characters. He's got that like lover boy charm while still being very manly. And I think that's gonna be really helpful. No stranger to the hair. He does look quite a bit like comic book Gambit. 
um, which I think is really nice. And the fact that he's six foot four makes him a very big, imposing dude. So he'll have that comic book feel. Um, almost every comic book hero is gigantic and jacked, unless they're known for being small, like Wolverine, even though he's still jacked, or like Puck or someone, you know, from like Alpha Flight. So that's, you know, unless unless that's their thing, like freaking like the Penguin or something, um, then yeah, they're, they're typically tortilla chip triangles with like shoulders out to like 12 feet wide and then like, you know, a pin sized waist. And they're just, they're jacked city. Obviously that's not what real people look like, but superheroes are supposed to be kind of that big, larger than life feel. And this guy is, this guy is larger than life. So I think he would be a really cool gambit. Anyway, no more details. I don't want to bore you guys with the details. Let's keep moving. Next up on the list, Alexander Skarsgård. I figured I would throw his name in the list because, again, just like Jared Padalecki, he's six foot four, larger than life, godlike build, 42 years old, a little bit older. Um, he's up there with a few of the oldest of, of the castings that I had for this. You guys know him from uh, The Legend of Tarzan, True Blood, um, Big Little Lies. Uh, but he is also no stranger to long hair. And even though he's blonde, you could brunette him out pretty easily. I think that would translate just fine. And uh, he would make for one heck of a manly gambit. I think that would be pretty insane. Also, I think this image, because it's got like the pop collar, you know, I think that, what is that, a pea coat or something? Gambit doesn't wear a pea coat, but he does have a coat that has a, a collar. So I think that kind of helps put it into some visual context or perspective. When you look here and then you, uh, you look here, some of the features that Gambit has are very sharp and chiseled, um, but still very masculine. And this guy has some of those facial features as well. Um, very kind of like worn and weathered. Um, he's seen some action. He doesn't trust anybody. You know, he's got that kind of a feel. So I like this guy for that. So anyway, uh, that's why I like him for this role. Not my top pick, but definitely a viable option. So let me know what you guys think down below. Let's keep moving. Next up, we got Jay Ryan. Now this guy, I really like. He's 37 years old, six foot one. Again, he's not like six four or anything, but six, six one is good stature. And uh, he is pretty built. This guy is, he's not like, a, he's not like Chris Hemsworth jacked, but he's, he's kind of close. He's pretty close. And uh, he's gonna be in It Chapter 2. Um, you guys probably have seen him, if you've seen the CW's Beauty and the Beast, which was a really cool show. It was really like sci-fi take on a classic Disney tale. Um, it was really a uh, really cool show. It's got Kristen Crook from um, Smallville in it. And uh, I really like that show. But I wanted to show you guys some of these images here. Look at this. He's got the hair for Gambit in the show. If you watch Beauty and the Beast specifically, he's got that hair through most of the show. And um, he plays a guy that's jaded, damaged. He can't trust anybody. Um, you know, he's got to, you know, commit some, some minor crimes in order to uh, pursue an ultimate good. And that's something that Gambit does pretty easily because his conscience has been seared based on how he grew up. And uh, in Louisiana and the Thieves Guild and the Thieves Guild. Um, and I think he would be really, really cool in the role. I think he looks a great deal like Comic Book Gambit. Um, maybe not as much as like Channing Tatum, but he's pretty close. Um, and the hair for sure. If you watch this guy act, he's definitely got that like that tough bad boy that is totally a ladies man. Like he's got that whole thing to the T. He he plays Gambit basically in this in this thing. It's really cool. So if you guys have seen that, if you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, you already know. Um, I don't need to convince you guys, but for those of you guys who maybe haven't seen some of his work, go check it out. I haven't seen all of his work. I've seen him in Beauty and the Beast, and that to me was what sold me. I was like, dude, this guy should play Gambit. This guy would be freaking awesome for Gambit. And uh, yeah, and so uh, if anything, I would show you guys this image, maybe one of these, um, you know, that GIF or whatever, of those two like falling in love. So anyway, that's, uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys there. Let's keep moving. Next up, we've got Garrett Headland, 34 years old, six foot one. So again, um, right around the same age, like within a few years of Jay Ryan, and then also the same height as Jay Ryan, but also Garrett Headland, um, really great actor, Tron Legacy, Triple Frontier, Four Brothers, Friday Night Lights, who doesn't love Friday Night Lights? Um, 
and he has been no stranger to long hair as well. This guy could definitely play a country boy. And uh, anybody who's in Friday Night Lights played, you know, a Texas boy. It's not Louisiana, but, you know, you got to be able to have that that kind of country soul. You know what I mean? And so I think this guy would be a really cool option. I like this guy. Uh, I like his face looks right for the role of Gambit. That's one thing that I think is important. It's got to be masculine, but also that it's got to have that attractiveness so that he's believably that ladies that lady killer you know what i mean so like he comes up he's hitting on rogue he's he's being dumb and corny and cheesy but you can't help but fall for him that's that country boy charm and he's he's got that so i think this guy would be really solid to play a gambit um so anyway not a lot of i don't think there's a lot of fan casting for him but um nevertheless i'll just leave it there so this guy let me know if you guys like garrett headland if you think he'd be good for the role of gambit all right Ben Barnes, we've got 37 years old, six foot one. You guys know him from the Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian, Westworld, Seventh Son, and also The Punisher on Netflix. Now, yes, we are fan casting the MCU Gambit. I understand that Dare that Daredevil, Iron Fist, uh, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and The Punisher are within the MCU, but they are downstream of the MCU. So how TV works with Marvel is that the movies are up here. Their stories are priority, and then all the stories that happen here, like the Avengers, they trickle down, and the shows get to operate uh, secondhand off of whatever happened in the movie. They don't get to have their stories go upstream to the movies and affect the movies. That's not how it works. Uh, and so, especially when they weren't made by Marvel Studios, it was Marvel properties that were being made by other studios those don't ever get to affect what's happening in the movies so technically they're not really in the mcu and they all got canceled so whether or not that you know I, in two years i think it was from the canceling of each of those shows on netflix like the punisher marvel has the ability to then take those characters and continue to use them in their own stories with their own studio apart from netflix which i don't know whether or not they will do with every single property they may choose to continue with that i i hope they do i like those shows but they may not and if they don't i would hate to see someone like ben barnes go to waste put him in the mcu making gambit i think that's a good option so let's take a look there's some fan art i think there was a, a, a fan made gambit trailer using ben barnes footage which was uh fun to watch but take a look this is really cool i like this sorry if i'm like sniveling guys i it's like allergy season for me that's why my eyes are all crazy right now but the um you got Ben Barnes with the long hair. Um, this guy is a charmer, just like Gaspar de Leo. Look, someone like blacked out his eyes or whatever to make him look like Gambit. That's pretty tight. Yeah, that's really cool. And then um, let me see if I got some more images for you guys. This is one that's pretty cool. I like that. He's got that that smirk. You know what I mean? He's got that like. Um, he's got that like swag, kind of like Gaspard Uliel has. I think that would be really cool for him to play Gambit. Now, he is a little bit thinner. I know he's like, he's in shape. The guy is in shape for sure. But when I picture Gambit, I picture someone that's pretty macho, you know, like pretty, like, I don't know, alpha build or something like that. You know what I mean? You guys know what I'm talking about. Like all the comic book characters, they're pretty freaking stacked and built. He doesn't have to look like Henry Cavill, but, uh, you know, I think a little bit more of a um i use the term physically imposing because when you look at them they should they should look like someone that could easily beat you up <laughs> that's what i that's what i like in a in a comic book actor character depending on the role so obviously if it's someone that's supposed to be like mr fantastic you don't need anything close to that um but for gambit i think you kind of do um Look at that, like the chest plate. He's got like freaking rugged abs all over and uh, his chest is like out to here and stuff. You know, it's like, it's crazy. I think that would be important to have. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that there for you guys. Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think that Marvel would ever allow the recycling of actors like Ben Barnes from the Netflix series is to come into the MCU as X-Men? That would be pretty cool. Might be a little bit convoluted. I know it's in the MCU, but it's downstream in the MCU and it's canceled. So I don't know how they would, you know, they would be willing to like renegotiate or do something like that. So that'd be fun. 
Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm not ignorant about this. I know it's there. I just wanted to mention it. All right, and I have a fun one for you guys. This is not um, my top pick, but this is a guy that's really funny. He's fun. Um, he's got some credit on IMDb, mostly for his comedy stuff. But Theo Vaughn, um, who is 39 years old, he's six feet tall. Theo Vaughn is a comedian. He has a podcast. Actually, I think he's got like two podcasts or something like that. I think he's got um, his own... Uh, He's got his own podcast and he's got one called like the fighter and the kid or something like that with uh, Brandon Schaub and uh, it's he's so funny. This guy is really funny. He's got lots of great life stories. He grew up in Louisiana just like Gambit. He's from Louisiana and uh, he always kind of rocks this like mullet. Obviously, he could either grow his hair out or do some sort of like a, a really good wig or something like that to make himself look a little bit more like Gambit, but he does. He does look a bit like Gambit. He's not the most built in the world, um, but he also, he always wears some sort of like, um, uh, he wears shirts that are very like, uh, I don't know, not, not like tight shirts or anything like that. He's a country boy. He's not trying to wear like spandex, but it would be really cool to see him get a chance to play that. He's got the full accent down. He's got that charm, that ladies man charm. And uh, he would be really fun. I would like to see him do like an audition reel or something. I don't know. He's certainly not my first pick, but I thought it'd be really fun as a bonus mention to throw his name in the hat and see what you guys think. Have you guys heard Theo Vaughn's comedy before? Do you like the guy? Have you heard him speak? Have you heard his podcast? Um, give him a listen. He's pretty cool. I like I like his personality. I like his uh, opinions. He's really hilarious. Um, and I think, yeah, it would be fun to see if he might be able to play a character like Gambit, uh, perhaps he did. He did mention in a podcast that he was uh, doing some acting classes at one point. He came out to do some acting as well, and so it would be fun to see him maybe try his hand at that. So, anyway, that's. Oh, and then I wanted to just show you guys. I googled where is Theo Vaughn from, and it's Covington, Louisiana. So that's pretty cool. Uh, just he, you know, Gambit's from Louisiana as well. So. All right, guys, so I wanted to show you guys one last thing before we wrap up this fan casting for Remy LeBeau Gambit in the MCU. Check out the Fan Casting Summit number four, which is X-Men in the MCU part two. And in that, I show off this art piece of Gambit. So let me show that, I'm gonna pull it up right now. So I have here Gambit from the MCU. I did two art pieces here. I did one on the left for Channing Tatum, and you can see him there. I overlaid some of his, some of the costume, you know, gave him some sleeves. I sparkled his eyes up in the same color that Gambit has, um, extended the hair out. And also on the right, I did Jay Ryan from CW's Beauty and the Beast. And this is the guy that I was like ranting and raving about that was in the show with Kristen Crook from Smallville, uh, who played Lana Lang. I really liked this guy. I was able to do a casting image here um, I did the art here on the bottom. Of course, the one from the top is actually just a, a pick and pull from Google, but nevertheless, I really like these two guys for the role of Gambit. And if any of these guys got the role, I'd be really, really happy. And I know that Marvel's gonna do a good job anyway, but I want your feedback and I want you guys to let me know in the comments which of my fan casting choices do you like the best for Gambit in the MCU? And then let me know if there's someone that I missed and there's someone that you think is better for the role of Gambit that maybe I just didn't think of. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure to click the thumbs up button to let me know that you like what you see. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications bell to be alerted right away when I go live next time. That way you guys won't miss a thing. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on the stuff of legend. Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.